We have just weathered another year of a distressed economy, which I imagine has affected you and your family. The immediate reaction for those of you gathered here would be to cut back on non-essential items. But an added stress for everybody, given this economy, is the what if factor. For you it might be, what if our client makes cutbacks to the project? What if the investors back away? What if we don't close the deal? At the St. Francis Food Pantries, the quandary of a bad economy is that our needs increase the tighter the economy is. So just as you, the good people that financially support us, have to make your own cutbacks, this happens at a time when our clientele grows. The what-ifs that we here trickle in from, the food pantries we help stock, the food programs that feed people, from all the clothing distributors that put coats on people's backs during the winter months, those what ifs sound like this. What if we didn't have the St. Francis food pantries and shelters? Where would we turn? Two years ago, people attending food pantries increased 20%. Last year, there was a 7% increase on top of the prior year. The increases with our clientele are not to the homeless. We are seeing more and more middle class families at our pantries. What if these families couldn't get a nutritious meal that day? What if we didn't have the St. Francis food pantries and shelters? Thank you for coming this evening and supporting our efforts to help our fellow New Yorkers. This year, we are recognizing two special individuals, John Toman, Vice President and General Manager of Turner Interiors, and Charles Shackner, Group Manager, Corporate Real Estate, UBS Financial Services. What if New Yorkers caught in this bad economy were forced to wait in lines for hours to receive a meal? What if they had to wait outside with their children in the winter just to receive the day's only nutritious meal? I would like to introduce John Toman, a colleague and friend, who will tell you a little more about the food programs at St. Francis Food Pantries. In a well-organized and planned effort, the St. Francis Food Pantries offers theme luncheons to their clientele throughout the year. By staggering their food offerings into different sessions, they are able to feed upwards of 900 people in an afternoon. There is no waiting, no lines, comfortable surrounding, good food, even seconds, entertainment, there's an atmosphere of security, respect, and friendship. Volunteers dress according to the theme, where they meet and greet their clientele, serve them food and drink, and bring genuine happiness. After one of these luncheons, it is difficult to say who had a better time, the people being served or the people serving. The St. Francis Food Pantries believes that it is in the giving that we receive. They bring volunteers together with their clients to enjoy each other's company and bond as brothers and sisters. It is an honor to be part of this incredible organization. What if? What if a commercial food delivery was over-ordered? What should a company do with the excess food? The food is frozen and needs to find freezer or risk thawing and eventually spoiling. I would like to introduce to you my dear colleague, Charles Schachner, to tell you more. The St. Francis Food Pantries acts as a network of food organizations throughout the New York metro area. They are tied into the needs of many feeding programs, so when they got the calls for excessive food deliveries, they were able to place the frozen food at multiple food pantries that could handle the volume with empty freezer space. Feeding programs, food pantries, and now placement of goods to where they need to be. Being tied into the business community, the St. Francis Food Pantries has partnered and networked with many businesses to begin coat drives, canned food drives, even placing used equipment from an office renovation with organizations in need. The St. Francis Food Pantries look to provide and place resources so their partners can better serve those in need. My name is Joe Sano. I am the Managing Director of St. Francis Food Pantries and Shelters. Our theater committee, all of you here, and all of our donors understand our belief that it is in the giving that we receive. Our combined efforts have positively impacted thousands of people. Thank you all for your unbelievable support. And now enjoy the play. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up.